All good. Thank you, Sam. Catherine, thanks for your patience. We'll start with you today. Thank you very much. Good morning, John. Good morning. Um, I'm guessing you probably weren't expecting to be sitting in this seat this morning. Um, just talk me through the last few days and how come you're going to be caretaker manager this weekend? Yeah, obviously, uh, came a little bit out of the blue in terms of uh, myself. Um, I think the, the conversation was on on Monday uh, when uh, Mark and Jake asked me to, uh, to, to step into the role for, for the game this weekend. Um, and it's something I'm really looking forward to. I'm, I'm excited about the game um, and, and, and yeah, just, just looking forward to, to, to the weekend. How do you approach it? Because obviously any kind of managerial change is a difficult one. It's a difficult one for you. It's a difficult one for the players. So how do you handle that over the last few days? Uh, I mean, fortunately, I'm in, I'm in a good position in terms of I know the players, I know the dressing room, uh, I know the characters in there. Um, so for me, it's, it's uh, just bringing positivity to it, uh, something that, that I feel uh, I can do. Um, and uh, yeah, just, just, just almost just, just letting the shackles off the players, um, letting them uh, play free with no pressure. Uh, and I think those are the things. Uh, and, and I've seen that in training. Training's been lively, it's been bright. Um, and, and like I said, I'll go back to the, to, the, to the squad in the dressing room. There's some good characters in there, some good leaders. Um, so, so that always helps. What's been the remit from the owner? He's talked a lot about how he wants attacking front foot football. Has he kind of been in your ear to reiterate that point over the last few days? Uh, no, I've not spoke to I've not spoke to Kevin directly. Um, the messages obviously come through uh, Mark and Jake. Um, I'm well aware, aware of um, you know the expectations in terms of the football. It's how I believe the game should be played anyway on the front foot, pressing high uh, and, and attacking football. That's that's what the fans want to see. That that's that's what I'd like to see as a fan and a, as a Huddersfield supporter as well. Games don't come much bigger, really. Um, a Yorkshire derby at home in what really is a, a must-win game. We seem to have been saying that every game for the last few weeks. So how how do you approach it to make sure you get the three points? Uh, I think uh, the, the key they're almost wins. Uh, you know, fortunately, there's 16, 17 games left, so they're all, they're almost wins. We want to go into every game to win the game. Uh, that's how I see it. That's the mentality, uh, and, and that, with that group of players and, and the squad we've got, that's the mentality everybody should be going in with. Um, I think from my perspective, it's uh, a clear messages, uh, clear roles and responsibilities about how we're going to do that. Um, you know, and then once the players get out there, they've you know, it's, it's down to them to show that, and uh, you know, I've got full confidence they will. You know this football club inside out. Do you think nine-year-old John Worthington would ever have imagined that he would be, or be a, in a caretaker role, but effectively manager of Huddersfield Town? Yeah, and and you know it's um, you know I, I see it as a privilege. I see it as a privilege. Uh, I've been connected to the club since I was nine years old. Come through the academy, captain the team, come back. I've been in uh, working across the academy for the last uh, nine, ten years. Um, now as academy manager, so. I know everyone from top to bottom. I've uh, been in, inundated with um, uh, support uh, from from inside the club and outside. Um, you know, and, and that's that's really nice. And, and to be honest, for me, um, it, I look at the um, I look at the fans. Um, you know, and, and they know what I'm about as a player. They know what what how I was uh, and gave everything. And, and I don't see it any different. Uh, I'll, I'll give everything I can uh, for the game tomorrow, um, and, and I'm sure the players will too. And you mentioned the fans, if anybody knows what gets the John Smith Stadium go, it's you. Um, what is the key to getting everybody on side, to get in that atmosphere, everybody behind you? I think I think it's, it's showing passion, it's been on the front foot, um, it's, uh, it's passing forward, it's running forward. Uh, and, and, and everyone's showing that, you know, they want to fight, they want to care uh, and, and showing, showing those, those kind of traits. And, you know, that's what I'll be doing from, from the touchline. I can't be on there uh, on the pitch myself. Um, but I'll, I'll definitely be, uh, be, be supporting the players as much as I can uh, for them to do that. How do you think you'll feel then when you walk out onto that pitch just before three o'clock and take your seat in the dugout? Um, excited, uh, excited. I, I've had to go on the treadmill uh, every morning for the last three mornings because uh, you know I've, I've felt pretty pumped up to be honest. Um, but excited, um, and yeah, I'm just there will be some 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 nerves obviously, uh, but that's only because because I want the team to do well. I don't know whether you believe in lucky omens, but knowing that you were taking charge on Saturday, we dug out of our archives your winning goal against Sheffield Wednesday 
March 2005. I don't know whether you have any recollection of that whatsoever, but if you believe in luck, maybe that's a good sign for you. Well, I, I remember it because it's a collector's item because I didn't score many. So, um, uh, so I, I do remember it, um, and, and it's been mentioned a couple of times. Brookie the kit man is he's got a photographic memory, remembers every single thing for his last 20 years, 30 years at the club, uh, and he, he did recall it to me. So, uh, yeah, uh, it, it was coincidental, and, and, and hopefully that'll be the case uh, this weekend. That's it, they say, hopefully a lucky omen. Um, if it goes well, and we don't know how long you're going to be caretaker for, but would mm. you throw your hat into the ring at this stage? No, I think for me, um, I, I've got a, a fantastic role at the club, uh, a role that I'm, I'm really passionate about in terms of uh, the, the academy and developing young players. Um, and and, and the, the way Kevin's come into the club and shows, shown his intent with the academy um, and, and, and really uh, wanting to back that, that project, I'm really excited with that project uh, and, I, and I'm working extremely hard in, in, in the backgrounds around that. So I, I, I'll be, you know, yes, absolutely give everything as I always will do for the club and whatever I'm asked to do, I, I will do to help. Um, but, but my focus, um, once, once the next person comes in, will be, be to slot back into that and, and help uh, you know, continue to de develop club, uh, players for the club. One last one then, team news. Have you had a chance to figure out who's actually available to you this weekend? I know we've been waiting on like Delano Bergs or possibly to come back, one or two others. So can you give us an update on who might be available? Uh, the, the, squad's, the squad's good. Yeah, the squad's looking looking pretty healthy. Um, you know, uh, obviously, Michael Helly took a... Uh, Mikel Helly took a... Um, um, a big a hefty knock at the weekend uh, but we'll, we'll wait and see what, what uh, where he's at uh, come tomorrow uh, I think every, everyone else squad's fairly healthy um, I think think we're in a good position I think there's um, good, good options throughout the squad now best of luck John I know everybody's right behind you I hope it goes well on Saturday thanks very much thanks Catherine Thank we'll come to Stephen from We Are Terriers in the room next hi John hey. uh, um is it helpful to you, obviously you know all the players, but particularly those who've come through the academy like Brody Spencer and um, and Ben Jackson, is that helpful to you, knowing those players inside and out? Yeah, I think so. Um, it, it definitely helps. I've, you know, I've worked with these players um, and other players within the squad um, th through the academy for the last you know, six, seven years. So they, they know me, I know them, I know what the strengths are, I know what, 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 uh, what they can offer to the team. But, but also, um, you know, Apart from probably the, the new new signings, the, the latest additions, uh, I've got a good handle on, on all the players in the in, in the uh, in the first team squad. To be honest, are you expecting to get any players back from injury that have been missing in recent weeks at all? Uh, I think, like I said, I think I think the squad's fairly healthy. I think yeah. we've got some good options. Uh, I don't see any of the the longer term ones uh, uh, coming back uh, this weekend. But um, yeah, like I said, the squad's healthy. Would it be good for you to get back out in front of the the John Smith Spade Stadium crowd? I presume. Yeah, I can't wait. I can't wait. Um, you know, um, like I said, uh, like I said earlier, um, you know, I, I know what it means to the to the supporters. I, I, I sit with them uh, uh, every game with with my family. Mm. So uh, you know, it, it'd be great to uh, you know to be um, you know in a, in, a, in a role where I can you know really try and try and help uh, help the team. I appreciate you've only taken it on this week on a caretaker basis, but. Um, it was obviously deadline day yesterday. Kevin Nagler said he wanted to get some players in. Uh, sorry, one more player in, if uh, if he possibly could, but didn't happen. What was you? We sort of were sitting by the phone yesterday, waiting to be briefed, seeing if you had any new players for the squad. How how did it go? No, I, I think uh, I think Kevin on Tuesday was 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 pretty clear with his messages around um, you know um, the, and if any any additions to the squad. I think I think the club have done the business uh, really efficiently and, and early, and I think that that's a real positive and, and, and testament to where to where they're at. Um, so uh, no, nothing nothing really changed from me. I, I was uh, you know just just working with the squad and expecting that squad to be the same for the weekend. What sort of improvement and where do you want to see improvements in the squad this weekend? Um, I, I, I don't know whether it's improvements. It, well, I suppose it is improvements in terms of results. We, we, want, mm -hmm. we, want, to win, we want to win the game. Yeah. You know, it's as simple as that. Um, I think it's more just, like I said, it's taking a bit of the pressure off, uh, letting some shackles off in terms of the lads being a bit freer uh, to attack um, and, and, and show some real intent. And what sort of challenge are you expecting from Sheffield Wednesday? Uh, I went on Wednesday. Uh, I think they're uh, a decent team, decent side. Um, you know the manager's done a good job. My focus is on us. Yeah, that's all for me. Cheers, John. Thanks, Steve. Come to Chris. Chris just likes to get the mic to you, mate. That's okay. Yeah, we'll we'll Chris from ITV. Hi, John. Hi. You okay. Um, I mean, this game's got a lot riding on it. Would you prefer to come into a game that wasn't there wasn't so much riding on it? 
Uh, no, not so. I think it's a great game for us. Why is that? Why is it a great game? It's a local derby. It's a bumper crowd. Uh, it's a game I believe we can win. Uh, so, w w what a perfect opportunity. You say that, but there is, I mean, it, it could be a season-defining game in a way, couldn't it, for this football club? I don't think it's a defining game. I think there's, there's 17 games left. Um, uh, so, I don't think it's defining. I think we've been saying for the last few games, oh, we, we must win at, at QPR, we must win at, at, against Plymouth. So, um, I think for me, every game we go into, we've got to believe we can win uh, and we've, we've got to go to win, especially at home. Um, and so, like I said, I'm just looking forward to it. Sheffield Wednesday, a difficult side to to approach because they tried different formation. Danny Rules changed it up a little bit, hasn't it? He seems to change it every game. Yeah, and like I said, he's brought in some, some good ideas for them. But you know, I, I think for me, uh, I've given the players simple uh, simple messages, real clarity on their roles. Uh, you know, and, and I'm sure that sure they'll fulfil that in the game. Is result more important than performance in this one? Um, results most important, absolutely. Uh, if we can get performance as well, then all the better. Have you changed much since you've come in from what Darren was doing? Or do you expect a completely different approach from what Darren? Um, I, th I think there'll be changing mentality. That it? Yeah. Just mentality? Mentality and, 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 and how I see the game uh, with simple messages um, in terms of with and without the ball. Um, and and uh, you know, I'm sure the players can deliver that. And we've only had them for two or three days. Um, but, but like I say, I think for me it's, um, you know, let, let's... Let's see where we go on on Saturday uh, with you know with 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 the messages we we passed across from, with our coaching team. Is it about getting the fan base on board as well? Have they got a big role to play? Hundred percent, hundred percent. The fan, the, the the players need the fans. Everybody needs the fans, uh, me included. And you know I'm you know I'm really hoping they they, they back me and and, and the players uh, for this game on Saturday because ultimately it, it's it's all for the club. Good luck, John. Thank you. Cheers. Thank you. Um, Adam, come to you finally. Got anything to add? Uh, hi, John. Hi. Um, how do you feel this will help you develop as a coach? This opportunity. Uh, yeah, it's um, obviously it's, it's a new experience in terms of um, you know taking a first team. Um, but you know I'm in a for fortunate position in, in the role that I've got at Huddersfield. You know, so it's not um, I I'm used to working with the first team players. There's a cl close, always been a close connection with with the B team. So in terms of uh, that situation, it's um, it, it's something that I'm used to in on the training pitch. Um, it's just a, a different um, a different experience for me in terms of. Um, a, a first team environment uh, in and in the championship, but, but it's what I'm looking forward to. Thank you. Superb. Thanks, guys. We'll be along with Matty Pearson around half past. Thank you, guys.
Catherine, whenever you're ready. Thank you very much. Morning, Matty. Nice to see you again. Um, funny old week. Just talk us through a little bit how you found out about the news that Darren Moore was, was leaving and general reaction to that, please. Yeah, I think we, we found out probably an hour before it got announced. Um, obviously, that's football at the minute. I think uh, we've, as, us as players, we've been there before. This, this time last year, it was exactly the same situation. So I think we've reacted to it well before and we, we have a, a bit of an idea of what we need to do now and, and moving forward. From your point of view, why don't you think it may be worked out? I think it was results based really. Um I think you can see the lads have give everything in the games. I don't I don't think it was for the, the lack of, of trying. I think we've we've give the commitments there. And I think it might might just be the game plan on, on how how we approach games. Um Yeah, the, and it, looking at the results, I don't think us as a club as a whole, I don't think the the results have been been good enough. It's such fine margins, isn't it? You know, you take a late lead away at QPR. Um, had you been able to hang on to it, could have been a very different story. So it is. It's not those sliding doors moments can have such a big impact, can't they? Yeah, I think uh, that that were a key moment at the weekend. To obviously go in front and then then to concede so late on in such a crucial game. I think uh, I think that 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 were probably ultimately the the, the biggest problem. So. Yeah, it, it's like you said, them, them fine margins, but I think we need to be in games. I think we need to be more aggressive. I think we need to maybe go for the games a bit better. Yeah, that that has been one of the criticisms that it has been maybe a little bit too conservative. Have you felt that as players as well? Yeah, I'd, different managers have the different ideas and I think me as a person, regardless of who the manager is, I want to win the game. So. Going into games, maybe if if it's not set up to how how you personally think it should be, then then obviously it, it's it's hard to adjust to. But we look looking forward now. We're going to go out there and try and win every game we possibly can and, and put us in in the best position possible. We've just spoken to John Worthington. He's going to lead you on Saturday. And one one of the phrases he used a couple of times was "shackles off." As it felt like that in training this week, that there's a bit less pressure, a bit more go out there, do your stuff mentality. We've been there before. I think we've got to go out there, give everything we've got, every every bit of energy, everything, and get get people on the ball that we know can make the difference. And I think not having the like like you said, the shackles off. off um, I think if we can get the players in the right positions. And let them have that freedom to go and attack. That, that that's what we want to be, and we want to be an exciting team. Seventeen games to go. Um, again, John Worthington felt that you know no no game at this stage is season defining, but it does have again that must win feel about it with with tricky opponents coming up as well. Is there a sense that it is a must win game on Saturday? Yeah, it's exactly the same as the QPR game last week. I think any team around us at the minute is a must-win game. Um, it, whether it's Sheffield Wednesday, QPR, uh, to be to be honest, all the games are. But this is more of a six-pointer. You, you know, you know what happens if we lose. You know what happens if we win. It it, it makes the gap closer or or further apart. So we we need to go into this game fully focused to win the game and hopefully make that gap a bit bigger. And one of those that you approach it, as I say, we return to the shackles off approach. Worst case scenario, if you do lose, hopefully not, but at least know that you've absolutely given it everything. The sort of do or die approach, if you like. Yeah, I think that even un under uh, Darren, I think we, we still give it everything. Maybe just the approach won't quite right. Um, so if we have a different approach and give it everything, hopefully the, the results are different. For games like that, Yorkshire Derby, lot riding on it. How much is it about mental strength to see a, see a game over the line? Yeah, you've got to be mentally right. I, being at Huddersfield for a while now, I, I know what these games mean to the fans, and uh, you, you go into it and you've got to give every bit of energy you've got into this game because they are tough games mentally. Uh, 
the crowd and the emotion of the day, it, it does it does come like weigh you down. But I, I'm I'm ready to tackle it. I'm ready for it, and hopefully it, I get to play. Yeah, I was going to say one of the biggest frustrations I'm guessing for you over recent weeks is that you've not been able to get out there and, and take your part because of injury. So how are you feeling now, and are you are you ready? You know, if selected to get out there on Saturday. Yeah, I've I've had a, a good few weeks training now. Um, managed to get be available for for the QPR game uh, and made, made the, the bench. So it, it's up to, it's up to Worthy and, and and see see what he wants to do. But um, yeah, I'm available, fit and ready to start if needed. And has it been almost a kind of a bit more fun these last few days? Speaking to John Worthington, he is, he knows this club inside out. He knows what it takes to win. He's got the passion, he's got the enthusiasm. He strikes me as somebody that you would want to play for as a player. Has that kind of sense come across over the last few days in training? Yeah, he's straight to the point. Um, I actually played with Worthy when I was 19, 20. So I know what he was like as a player. And if we can play like... He was as a player. I think it'd be aggressive front foot, and that's what me personally. That's what I I like football teams to do: be aggressive and on the front foot. So hopefully we will take that into the games. Has he changed much then? He's calmer now. Um, he's a lot calmer, and he's quite intelligent in the football. We've we've had a few meetings on on what we're going to do, and I think he's put his points across really well. Excellent. Well, look, best of luck on Saturday. Thanks for your time this morning. Thanks. Thank you very much, Catherine. We'll just come to Stephen in the room. All righty. Um, you've been at Huddersfield sort of three and a half years now. This will be your sixth manager coming in. When you've had sort of a, as heavy a turnover as that, does it sort of make you reflect on things as, as a player, as a squad? Two and a half years, not three Sorry, and a half. Sorry, two and a half. Yeah. Apologies, mate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm coming up to the end of the season. It'll be three years. Yeah. Um, it's been difficult. I've, my my first season here, we we had a, a great season, um, but then since then I think it's been a chop and change, mm. and we've had to adapt every couple of months. Every six months has been an, an adaptive period and unsettling. Um, and I think the lads have reacted really well. To be fair, to have that many changes and produce what we have produced, um, it is it is uh, it is challenging, but. Look, we're ready for it. We're, uh, the good thing about it all is we've been there before, so mm. it's not a new situation for us. Um, us experienced lads have been through, the lads have been here three, three or four years, that they've been through the them, them periods, so I think we're pretty adaptive and we know what we need to do, just get out there and, and do what we did last year and knuckle down and, and work hard. As you say, in many ways it's sort of very similar situation to last year, but in other ways it's you know it's not like you're going out and losing every week. It's been mostly draws actually have been quite costly for Darren. Does that sort of give you hope as a squad that it's sort of smaller changes now can help you turn those draws into wins? Yeah, like like you say, we, even in the last couple of games, I think we've had opportunities yeah. to win the game. Um, it's about taking your chances. Scoring the goals, keep keeping a clean sheet, which we hadn't done for a few games. So, mm. first things for me as a defender is probably to keep a clean sheet and gives us the platform to to win the game. Um, yeah, that that's his aim this weekend. Obviously, clean sheet and score goals. Yeah, I mean you're coming back at a time, albeit where they said you know they're going to assess Mihal for for the weekend, but um, renewed competition at centre back. You know, you Leezy, Rodinho's come in as well. Uh, Brody has come back in and showed he can do a job there. I mean, that's it's a good thing, really, isn't it? I mean, remember a few years ago, you were sort of it was five into three, wasn't it? And hopefully, some of the situation now. Yeah, it's always good to have them bodies around, and you know, if if someone like Helix got a, a bit of a problem this week, he, I don't know if he's going to be available or not. It's touch and go, so at least we know we've got someone who can step in, um, yeah. whether it's me, Rodinho, or whoever um, it's better to have the players than, than not and, and have um, the youth team in, involved it's at least we're not going to be competing in every game do you relish that competition as well as a yeah, professional it's part of football I think yeah. uh, you see it at the top clubs they all have n numerous um, amount of players in each position so it's just part of, part of football and that that's part and parcel 
have you heard as a squad sort of from from the chairman at all this week? Any taking the message either directly or sort of sent through through people? But we've not heard from the chairman. Um, we've heard from uh, the sporting director and the yeah. chief, chief executive, obviously, regarding what, what's happened this week. Um, <coughs> and Worthy, Worthy taking charge. So since uh, the news broke, Worthy's put on the sessions and put, got us in the right frame of mind, ready for the weekend. What's the message been from, from Mark then to the squad? Was that just a briefing on what's been happening? Just, just a standard briefing, pretty much. You, you know all, all the details. Um, and just that we're, our mark, mark concerns who's going to be taking the team and Worthy's, Worthy's taking the team and I think uh, it's been pretty straightforward really. I think there's no grey areas. We know we know who's in charge. Worthy's stepped up and he's, he's going to lead the team and I think it's the right decision. Fantastic. Cheers, mate. Best luck. Cheers, Cheers Stephen. We'll just come to Chris Docks. Just a, just a couple for me, Matty. It sounds like from what you've been saying that it was pretty frustrating for you under under Darren Moore. Is that accurate? Obviously, when when you're drawing games, I, I don't think it's um, it's ideal. I think uh, everyone wants to win games. I think if you look at our past, the results of too many draws, and I, I think uh, we can't draw our way out of the situation we're in. We need to start winning games. Is that tough? when you're watching on and you're seeing something that you're not on board with? Yeah, I feel in cer certain times we maybe could have gone for the the win. A um, bit concert, you know, probably we were scared of giving up a lead or losing the game and sometimes in football you've got to take risks and I, I like taking risks but that, that's my opinion. Because there's a lot of, you know, there's a lot to be said for being pragmatic, isn't there, in certain situations? But you just want to attack. You want to play attacking football. You want to entertain the fans. Is that what all players want to do? Yeah, pretty much. I think uh, my my main aim when I step foot on that pitch is to win games. It's uh, however, however, where shape or form, I want to win them football games and to play for draws and stuff is is not not the way I want to be. I suppose both tangibly but psychologically as well, a win on. Win tomorrow would be absolutely huge, wouldn't it, for this football club? When you think about the gap it puts between you and Wednesday as well. Yeah, we don't look too far into that. We we mainly focus on the game ahead and how we're going to affect Sheffield. And it's, it is going to be a tough game. I think uh, they're, they're a, a good team. I think the, the the new manager there has got them in in some decent decent form. So we need to be on our game. There's no no two ways about it. We need to be on it, we need to have a game plan and we need to give everything we've got. And as a Yorkshire lad, the Yorkshire derby's been a little, mean a little bit more? Yeah, obviously. Um, I, I, growing up, I, I've seen all these Leeds Huddersfield games and, and all, all them and Sheffield. I, I can remember all, all the games and I, I think it just gives that little bit of edge and I, I relish that opportunity to play in them games. I know hopefully I do. I don't, we don't know the team yet or, or what have you, but um, yeah, it, it does put a bit of an edge onto it. Good luck with it. Cheers, mate. Cheers, Chris. And finally, Adam, do you have anything to add at all? Uh, yeah, hi, Matty. Um, there's been a few new players brought in over the transfer window. How have they settled into the into the squad and what impact did they have tomorrow? Yeah, I've, I've been impressed. Um, Bojan shows his quality in training. I think tall guy, he, he looks a bit... Bit of a problem when I'm when I'm playing against him. It's somewhat different that we probably haven't had. Um, Reese has come in and been energetic, and I think uh, they definitely help us. Every signing we've made definitely strengthens our team, which is exactly what you want through a transfer window. Perfect. Thank you. Perfect. Thank you very much, everybody. Thanks, Matty. Fun, yeah. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers.